Hey guys, today we're going to look at the air assist and the air exhaust system on the CO2 laser engravers. This is my second video on a beginner series on CO2 laser engravers. So if you haven't watched the first one, which is a summary, make sure you go back and watch that. All right, let's jump right into this video. It's going to be a quick one. So the first thing we're going to look at is the air assist system. Then we're going to look at how you exhaust the smoke out of your laser engraver machine. Most CO2 laser machines will come with a fish tank air pump similar to this. These air pumps are used to provide the air assist for your machine. And the reason you have air assist is it helps clean the cut out as laser goes along, letting you have cleaner, deeper cuts. And it also keeps the smoke and other particles away from your lens, so it keeps your lens cleaner longer. Setting up this air assist is easy. You take the rubber air assist hose from the back of your machine and screw it into the front of your air pump. You don't really need to go too tight with it. Just screw it in nice and snug by hand. Now you should know that this is basically the bare minimum for a pump for your air assist on your machine. You can replace this with a real silent air compressor, which will not only let your machine have deeper and cleaner cuts, but will also dramatically drop the noise level. In a future video, I'll be doing a comparison between using this fish pump air compressor and using a real silent air compressor. To set up the exhaust system on your laser engraver, you're going to need some sort of vent tubing. This is the blue tubing that comes with most laser engravers. You'll also need some adapters and reducers to connect your tubing to whatever outside vent you're connecting them to. Some machines come with these adapters, but if it doesn't, you can pick them up at your local hardware store. You'll also want some foil tape to seal any cracks and connection points. Now connecting the vent tubing to your machine is simply a matter of slipping it on to your exhaust port. After you've slipped it on, you can also seal it by using some of this metallic tape. Your vent adapter is connected in a similar manner by slipping one end of the hose onto the adapter just like so. Now that your exhaust hose is all set up, the last thing you have to do is figure out how you're going to connect your exhaust tubing to the outside. I've made this little contraption here, which is simply just a piece of MDF with a dryer vent installed into it, and it fits into my sliding window. Of course, you're going to have to make your own contraption for whatever style of window you have. Mine works by taking this adapter assembly here and sliding it onto the connector for the dryer vent, just like so. And you then connect your exhaust tubing, just like so. Seal it up with foil tape and you're ready to go. Now some of you might need to exhaust your system over a long distance or you may find that the fan on your machine is incapable of properly exhausting it. In those cases, what you'll need is one of these inline fans. These inline fans can be installed at any point in your hosing system and they work by helping suck the exhaust out of your machine so you don't have to rely on your machine's exhaust fan alone. So that's it to setting up the air assist and exhaust system on your CO2 laser engraver machine. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and remember to click the notification bell. Stay tuned as I'll have another video in my beginner series on CO2 laser engravers coming out soon.